Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahabaka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahabashai, who we reverence and honors to the elder apostles of Great Milson and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and learning across the globe okay and lord willing lord willing this is edifying all right so we're going to start off with hebrews 6 and let's go straight to 18 that by two immutable things okay and what's immutable mean not capable, not subject, not accept, acceptable to change. Oh, okay. In which was, which it was impossible for the Most High to lie. The Most High is not a lie. His word is true. Whereas we might have strong consolation. And consolation is hope. That's the consolation we have. Who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. So what's that hope set before us? You have a show that faith. That's that hope set before us. And that strong co consolation is what? Hope. Comfort. Consolation means comfort. Solace. So we're supposed to have great solace, great comfort in these scriptures. Which hope we have as an anchor. What does an anchor do? Hold down. Grounds. Okay. The reason why you have an anchor tied to a ship. So that ship doesn't get what? Pushed away by the tides. Okay, that's why you have an anchor. So through the faith we have in Yahweh Shai, the hope, that's supposed to be the anchor of our soul. Both sure and steadfast. So we're supposed to be sure and steadfast, unmovable, which entereth into that within the veil. Alright. In the ancient days, what was the veil? It was spread out the curtain, the name given to the two curtains in the temple at Jerusalem. And one of them at the entrance of two to the temple separated the holiest place from the outer court. Okay. And the other veiled the holy of holies from the holy place. Okay. River, the forerunner is for us, entered even Mashiach, Yahabashai, made an high priest. So he's our ultimate high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek so we got to keep this hope and the hope is what the anchor of our soul all right this is what keeps us going I quickly want to go to Proverbs 13 and 12 without that hope you have nothing without that hope that's why what, what do we hold on to the hope the faith and a man that has hope he's going to show that hope he's going to show that faith Let's go to Proverbs 13 and 12. Sometimes videos like this have to be done just to boost brother's faith up. Proverbs 13 and 12. Hope deferred make it for heart sick. So because now we know. We, we, we know the scriptures. We have the understanding. But now we have to be patient. And when we go into that word hope deferred. Did I get it? Bear me just a minute. Did I? See if I can... I'm sure I got that word up. Hold on a minute. Type it in again. I'm sure I typed it in in the first place. Deferred. So let's quickly go into that word deferred. And when you go into deferred, delayed. Okay. Defer. Late. Prolonged. Okay, so hope deferred maketh the heart sick, which is the mind. Okay, because we're in a wicked world, so that could also make us sick as well, knowing we want this place to go down. But when the desire cometh, that's the expectation, it is the tree of life, and ain't that what we want? Life, 
Okay, everlasting life. So with us knowing what we know, we're gonna get, we're gonna get, we're gonna get, see, we're gonna get tired. But what we have to keep going. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Bear me just a minute. Bear me just a minute. Stay faithful now. Let's go to Psalms 146 and 5. I thought I'd just switch it up because sometimes you may go into the same scriptures. This time I thought, you know what? Switch it up. Get some different precepts. Let's go to Psalms 146 and 5. You have to believe this for yourself. Let's go to Psalms 146 and 5. Happy is he. So what's supposed to be happy, delighting in your Habashai? Happy is he that have the most high. The power, so like I have the power of Jacob, which is the most high, for his help, Yahabashai. For his help. So what's supposed to be happy that we have Yahabashai for our help? The ruler of the universe. The, the, rulers of, the rulers of the lords of lords, the kings of kings. There's supposed to be a happiness that comes with that. Okay. So happy is he that have the power of Jacob for his help, which we have, whose hope is in the Lord Jehoshua, his power. And that's who our hope is in, which made heaven and earth and sea and all that is therein, which keepeth truth forever, which execute judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry and the Lord Jehoshua looseth, looseth the prisoners, just like he's loosed us mentally, spiritually. Okay? So guess what? This should be our hope. Go to Romans. Look at sure. I'm just flow, flowing with the spirit. Because you're gonna get you're gonna get them days, man. You're gonna get them days. But guess what? We have to keep pushing. So let's go to Romans. Eight. This is one of my favorites. For we are saved by hope. Keep using that word. That hope is the expectation. You know, you know, Yahweh is going to come. You believe, and the reason that's why we say hopeful elect, because we believe we are of the hopeful elect. If we continue enduring, continue being probably, continue enduring. Okay, continue fighting for Yahweh. Okay, that's why we say hopeful. For hope. Okay, for we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. You can see it. You can feel it, you can touch it, you can see it. Okay, and that's that's the that's the that's the motto of the world. Seeing is believing. Nope. Nope. That's not the case in this truth. Okay. Even though there were certain men that did need to see, but that is not the case overall in this truth. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why do he yet hope for? So why are you going to hope for what you already see? Because then it wouldn't require any type of faith. So this is this is what makes the truth even so more precious. To believe in something, you know it's not there right now. It's not in your hands, but you, you know it exists. Okay? And that's a quality, not... The people of this world, they don't have that quality. Okay? Therefore, they don't have patience. For what a man see, why do we get hope for? But if we hope for that, we see not. Then do we with patience. Wait for it. Alright? So when it says, then we do we with patience, wait for it. So that's what we're doing. We're waiting. Alright? With patience. And that patience is suffering. Alright. And it's a beautiful thing. We see it's there. Now it's just the patient part. Alright. So with this lesson. I hope this was edifying. I hope this was comforting. Because that's what these lessons are about. That comfort. Okay. Comfort in the word though. Not in the world. Comfort in the word. Because this world ain't going to comfort you. Okay. And when Yahweh said, when I'm gone, I will send you the comforter. What is it? I believe it's something which on 14 or something. I will send you the comforter and he shall teach you all things. That was what the Holy Spirit and that comforter. Today, that comforter is here, which is the Holy Spirit. 
And the Holy Spirit, what does it do? It comforts us, it reassures us. Okay? So guess what? We gotta keep on enduring, keep on fighting, and fight that good fight of faith. Until the next time. Shalom.